My father is a, is a sheikh of another tariqa, and um, he's deceased. Um, I was looking, I looked for him, you know, as a guide. After he passed, I was looking for a guide. And um, I was on the internet when I saw a passage uh, of Sheikh Nazim. He was talking about, um, you know, shaitan being trapped with the ego. And so, I, even though I hadn't seen him, he looked, everything he said, my father had told me before. Exactly what he said, how he, he said it, I, I heard it before from my father. So I tried to research. I said, this is a genuine sheikh. I mean, I have known a lot of sheikhs, but I knew right away that he was the real one. And so I made research more on the internet to find out who he was. Actually, I didn't do it the same day, but I went to bed that day, that night. I saw him in a dream. He had uh, the sun in his hands, his right hands, his right hand. And he had young male boys, about 20 of them, standing behind him. And he himself shone like the, like the sun. So I started walking towards him, and he stopped me. Even though he, didn't, he did not speak like stop, he spoke. I understood him. So I stopped, and then he shone the sun through me. I could, I could feel it. I could feel myself, my inner being filled with the light. So. Um, and then I got up from the dream. I decided that I had to research about him because I haven't seen him to make sure that he's the same person, you know, the, the looks and everything. So I went on the internet and um, on YouTube to type in shakes, shakes of all tariqas. And he came up, he was the first that came up. And it was exactly him. Uh, and actually, the picture that I had, when he came to me, I have that picture on my refrigerator because I took it off the uh, internet. I printed it off the internet because it is the same way. He looked the same way, like, like the sun on him. And so the next day, I was making zikr. I was crying from this. I wept all day. And I all night. I was sitting making zikr. And then I saw him sitting close to me. This is not a dream. Physically. He had on a black turban and a black robe, just like Sheikh Abani has now. And he sat there. I thought it would be like a moment thing. But he sat there all night till I went to bed. And he left. So since then, I've been seeing um, different lights, different form of lights, different planets. Um, people come and they take me. Physically, people come. I don't see them, but they fly with me to places. You know, I get scared, so I close my eyes. I don't know where they take me. Um, and then, in my dream, after I met Sheikh Nazim, I also met with Sayyidina Kadri Jilani. Um, I saw so many jinns walking towards me, but they did not mean to harm me because they just passed me by. And then far away, I saw a group of Muslims, about 10 Muslims. They were, some of them were bathing their sheep. And uh, one female dressed in blue and a big white kimar. And so I walk, as I was walking towards them to find out who they were, I saw a big black panther a black tiger the size of a cow with fierce eyes. It looked at me. It did not harm me. I felt very comfortable. I passed. And I went straight to a very tall man, dark, with a white turban and a white jalabia. And he was making zikr. So I went and I 
kneeled in front of him just like I have done now. And I asked him who, he smiled at me. And I said, who are you? He said, I'm Sayyidina Akadari. And I said, okay, I want to go with you to where you came from. And he said, you have to stay. If you go with us, you cannot come back. So um, they decided they wanted to leave. As they were going, I held on his ropes. I started weeping, crying. I was crying, crying all over him and dragging his clothes. I want to go with you. He said, you can come with us. So they turned their forms into something else. I knew in the dream that they didn't want me to go with them. They were trying to get me to, you know, leave them alone. Probably. Then I saw that they were entering into the ground. There was a hole. They were going down in the hole. After they all went down, I tried to, to follow them, to go in. But when I went in, it was sealed. So I came out. Um, Sheikh Nazim, I see him almost every, twice every week. Some, sometimes I'll be making salat and he, he appears in front of me, he's leading me in prayer. Whatever question that I have inside of me, he comes, I see it in a dream and he answers me one way or the other. Um, Sheikh Abani, I started seeing him. I, I didn't tell him yet, but I, um, last week, last week, Friday, um, I had a book. I was reading this book that I had bought a long time ago. It's called The Wisdom of a Sufi Master. And I, had, I did not get the chance to read the book. And so I took that book into bed, into my bed, that I would read that book in bed. And then I fell asleep. So in my sleep, I saw Sheikh Kabani. He came to me, and that night, it had rained that night, and he was beaten by the rain. His ropes were wet. And um, he said to me, um, there was, there's one guy at the Zikr group that we have in New York. Uh, the, he leads the Zikr group. He had a book in his hands, a small book. He was reading the book. And Sheikh Abani had a bigger book in his arm, like he came from a place. And he said to the, the man, are you still reading this book? You should have finished this book to a higher book. And I looked at him and I said, is he talking to me or he's talking to that man? So then I got up from my, I, I waked up. Then the book, my book was in front of me. And I said, but I bought this book a long time. I tried to read it. I went to sleep. I have still not finished the book. And so he's saying to me, I have to finish that book because it's taking too long to, for a bigger book. Um, the next day, I saw him. I tried to look at my husband, and I saw his face. I didn't see my husband's face. It's so many. <laughs> this is next time I'll... I would uh, share the rest. Now is enough. Yeah. Something then you and me. If I'm not finished, I'm not going to be able to do it.